Hi all, we're here today with something a little bit different on the channel. We got our hands on a box of Throne of Eldraine, uh, releases two days. Uh, so we're going to crack the booster box on the channel. Uh, first time doing an unboxing video, my setup's probably not the best, so I apologize in advance. If we do this in the future based on response, I'll uh, get a little bit better setup in terms of this. I thought my webcam would make do, but it's turning out not to. We also got this pretty sweet uh, Kenrith the Return King as our buy a box promo. Uh, so this is seeing some play in standard right now. Sold out, it's about 10 bucks on Star City. Um, we also got a collector's booster. So this is all the promo cards. So we'll open this about 10 or so packs in, see how we do. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I won't put the price up for every single one. Um, I'll do a summary at the end in the comments on the YouTube just to kind of go from there. If we get anything like worthwhile, I'll just reference the price from Star City right now. It's really just for reference. Um, probably not selling any of these anyways. It's just to kind of know what is good in the pack, what isn't. Um, so ideally we want to see Okos. Um, some of the Mythics are a little bit pricey. Questing Beast is pretty solid in terms of value. Um, so let's open this up, see what we get. So I'm excited to crack some packs. I haven't done so in some time having switched to Arena. Um, but it is nice to hold physical paper. So let's just grab out a bunch here. No order in particular. So like there's the showcase frames in this set which are really good. Um, there's a whole bunch of like cool cards. Uh, full art planeswalkers. So first I'll go through some of the commons and commons, but then we'll uh, switch to some others. I will just kind of power through them. So let's just see where our sweet spot is. Do 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 do. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, so we got Witching Well, Seven Dwarves, Fairy Godmother, Run Away Together. Smitten Swordmaster, Redcap Raiders, Mystic Sanctuary is actually a pretty good one. It's going to probably see play in Popper, as well as uh, with Cryptic Command, you can bounce it and then get Cryptic Command back. So that's one that we're looking for for foils. Uh, we got Merfolk, Secret Keeper, uh, the Fierce Witch Stalker, so nothing too great right now. Uh, the Spectre Shriek. Sorry, let me just try to find the sweet spot. There we go. Maraleek Pixie. Bell of the Ball. Ooh, Gilded Goose is a nice pickup pack one. Uh, basically, your new one drop. He plays a lot into Oko. Uh, and we have a Foil Mad Ratter. So nice start. Uh, the Mad Ratter is not worth that much. Uh, whenever you draw a second turn, you, sh you basically make some tokens. So we'll keep the foils aside too. Uh, we also got an On an Adventure token. It's a pretty cool uh, looking token. So let me get the chaff out of the way. So we'll split it between the rares, foils, and then just kind of some of the value ones. Second pack, we have the Royal Scions. I haven't played too much with that one. Alrighty, so let's find our sweet spot. Come on. Okay, so Weaselback, Red Cap, another Fairy Godmother, Wolf's Quarry, Smitten Swordmaster, Mystic Grange, not as good as the blue Mystic one. Lockwainth Gargoyle, Reeve Soul, Fling, Flutter Fox, Revenge of the Ravens. Ooh, this one is sweet. So you can get some of these showcase frames uh, in the set. So we got a Embercraft Shield Breaker with the alternate art, which is really, really nice on this one here. Uh, hopefully webcam can do it justice. So that's a sweet one we got. 
grab that. And then we got Sir Conrad the Grim, the Great Henge. That is a good mythic to get early on. So another sweet card that we got. So the first two packs have been pretty good. Uh, we got a forest and a fairy token. These tokens are actually really nice too. So we'll set these aside. Oops. Drop some cards. So some nice packs so far. Um, so there's some sort of drop rate uh, for the alternate cards in the set. So we have Ardendale Paladin, Turtle Man, Thrill of Possibility, uh, potentially can have a possibility, uh, seeing play in like Phoenix decks, Garenbring Carver, just trying to find that spot. Giant Skewer, Sewer from Ritual, Owl Person, Scarecrow. So really just gonna power through the uncommons here. We got Into the Story, which is a pretty powerful overall effect. Uh, if you can get it for four mana to draw uh, that many cards is a pretty useful effect. Uh, and then Furlbar and Elder. Uh, so this is kind of a good mana ramp in EDH. Um, you can get the cards. It has Vigilance, so you can attack and uh, add the mana afterwards, so not too bad. And then we got a Barge in Foil, so not too impressive on the Foil side. So we'll just set those aside. So let me know what you think is the card you're going to want to see the most. Obviously, money cards, but what's your kind of card you want to play the most of the new set. Uh, so we have Merchant of the Veil, uh, nice looting effect there, Youthful Knight, Queen of the Ice, Melivant Noble, Fell of the Peasants, Eye Collector, Scalding Cauldron, Something Trebuchet, Crashing Drawbridge, Tall as a Beanstalk, Steel Claw Lance, try to find our spot again, Oakshame Adversary, another Into the Story, and then Lockmere Serpent. So this could be a closer for Demir decks in the future. Uh, not worth too much right now. I like the Into the Stories. I'm going to keep those aside. That's for my EDH. Set those aside. So, got some pretty decent cards so far. Embercraft Paladin. Come on, Shining Armor. Tomb Raider. Garen Bridge Carver. Giant Skewer. Eyeball Guy. Charm Sleep. Some more Gorgoyles, Trapped in the Tower, Rapunzel Pun, Fling, Hypnotic Sprite, uh, so Counterspell and Creature, Joust, Edgewall Innkeeper, a very good card in the Adventure decks, it's a good engine to draw cards, and Torbrand, Thane of the Red Fell, so a way to double up all your uh, deal extra damage in Mono Red, and a Plains, nothing too exciting there and a human token. Very nice art on the tokens in this set. They've really upped their game in that sense. Doing like the extended art, everything like that. So I think with like the goose right now, the henge is 13 on Star City. The goose is eight bucks. So those are some of the more valuable cards we've gotten thus far. Cards are a lot more expensive here in Canada, unfortunately, because of tariffs and just their dollar sucks. So, got to come up a little bit more ahead to get break even usually. So, going through, um, nothing too exciting. This sees some play in the Teamer Phoenix list because you can just cycle it for mana, so it counts as a spell cast. Uh, Out Muscle, another Mystic Sanctuary, Unexplained Visions, Drown in the Lock. 
Good modern card potentially. You could see standard play. Mad Ratter, which we got foil. Improbable Alliance. Pretty useful card in the Draw Matters archetypes. And Hushbringer. Um, the card I don't like to see because all the decks I like to play have ETB effects. And ooh, Blacklands Paladin Foil. So that might be worth a couple bucks. We could check that out. So pretty nice foil there. I uh, could see playing some Knights decks, hopefully. Uh, so Black Lance, foil, four bucks. Nothing too like extreme there, but we will take it nonetheless. Not necessarily the foil rare we want. So the card I want most from the set is the Alternate Art Showcase Brazen Borrower. I just love the look of that card. So we have Merchant of the Veil, vale, Youthful Knight, Opt, which got a reprint, which is nice for the set, Thrill of Possibility, Garebridge Caraver, some Funeral stuff, some more Knight stuff, Red Cap Raiders. So these Mystic Sanctuaries, just setting them aside because they might be worth a couple bucks for Popper. Uh, Merfolk Secret Keeper, Flaxen Intruder, so Goldilocks, Inquisitive Puppet, Another Improbable Alliance, and Castle Garenbrig. So these are nice lands. They're really useful in EDH. This is going straight into my Maelstrom Wanderer deck. Uh, just being able to cheat up ahead on mana is always something you want to see in EDH. <coughs> Excuse me. Still dealing a bit with the flu. So we'll crack a couple more packs, and then we'll get to that Showcase pack. My floor is littered with paper. So we have Rimrock Knight, True Love's Kiss, Witching Well, actually seeing play in modern in the Paradoxical Urza deck, Curious Pair, Lost Legion, Blow Your House Down, Arden Veil vale Tactician. Oh, you know what? If this is the land we get in all our packs, I'm quite happy because that can actually hold value. Hypnotic Sprite Alternate Foil Art. Not Foil, but Alternate Art. That's very, very nice. So you probably a couple bucks. Happy to see as many of those as possible. Sir Conrad the Grim. And Lydon the Steadfast Queen. Kind of a useless card. I don't really like Mono White Commanders. And then on that sense, it's a deck that you want to overcommit to gain the life and the payoffs just aren't there. So we'll do a couple more. We got some dudes. Oh, sorry. I don't know who this character is supposed to be, but we got the Royal Scions. Crack four more, and then we'll get to the Collector's Booster. Okay. Moonlit Scavengers. Barge Inn. Toon Veil Tree Folk. Smitten Swordmaster. Marley Frider. Hengewalker, Searing Barrage, Beloved Princess, Charm Sleep, Resolute Rider. These could be actually decent if the new set of uh, Theros cares about devotion. Training Grounds actually is a nice one to get uh, for like Mardu Knights. Sir Island of Lion's Claw. I don't even know what this card does. Whenever it attacks, other creatures you control get plus one one. Eh. Fires of Invention, nice. So this is a card we do want to see. Obviously, if you've tuned into Standard uh, so far in Arena, this that card is everywhere. I want to try it out in EDH. We got Foil Turtle, not the card I want. We want Foil Mystic Sanctuaries. I think that card's like over 10 bucks right now for the Foil for an Uncommon. Which those are like the fringe cards that help you make back on your box. So I think Fires of Invention went up to a couple bucks now. Three dollars. So if it has a good showing, we can see it jump a little bit more. Youthful Knight, Opt, Thrill. I'm just going to kind of go faster through these so this video is not like two hours long. Uh, Brimstone Trebuchet, Golden Egg, Tall as a Beanstalk, Vantress Paladin, Steel Claw Lance, Epic Downfall, Cauldron's Gift, Yorvo. So pretty good card uh, for the mono green stompy list. Gets pretty big pretty quick. Um, EDH might have some applications, but we'll see. 
and then some uncommons. <coughs> Sorry, some lines. Sorry about that. Let me take a drink. Been progressively getting worse instead of better for this flute. But time is of the essence for packs. So I think this is dwarf number two of seven. Let's try to get that in focus. Outflank. We have Opt. Rose Thorn Acolyte. Lash of Thorns. Trapped in the Tower. Golden Egg. Idyllic Grange. Garen Bridge Paladin. Eye Collector. Conventious Urge. Basically, not a bad card for EDH. You get to steal a card from their hand. Keeper of Fables is a pretty good card in EDH. Whenever it deals combat damage. If you have a lot of opponents, you get to draw a lot of cards. Righteousness. Midnight Clock. So this is pretty much a bulk rare. So not too thrilled to see that. So we went Goose into Henge, but haven't gotten anything better since. So let's craft this one, and then let's gamble on our $30 booster pack. So Blood Something Wolverine. Doing these backwards. Shining Armor. Run Away Together. Merchant of the Veil. Spore Cap Spider. Forbidden Fruit. Unexplained Vision. Scarecrow. Baked into a Pie. Blow Your House Down. Shepherd of the Flock. So return target permanent you control to its owner's hand. Alternate Art. Very, very nice. All these are really nice cards. Savvy Hunter, Fairy Vandal, and Iron Crank Pyromancer. This card's pretty sweet. Um, there, I posted a budget list with these in Improbable Alliance. Don't mind seeing those. It has the fringe uh, case to maybe be modern playable, um, but we'll see. All right. Collector booster time. $30. Everything's foil. Every full art planeswalkers. So full art, full alternate art foil Oko is where we want to be. We shall see if we get it. All right, first up. Let me get that in focus. Foil Red Cap Raiders. Foil Wicked Guardian. Foil Witch's Cottage. Curious Pair. Merfolk S Seeker Keeper. So this is the mill one. Very, very nice art there. Barge in. Queen of Ice. Bognati. Witch's Oven's Foil might be worth a couple bucks. Flax and Intruder Alternate Art Foil. Labyrinth Shield Breaker Foil. Merchant of the Veil Alternate Art. Is this one... Oh, sorry, the Flaxen and uh, the last ones haven't been foil. Steelbane Hydra. So this is from the uh, Brawl decks. This is actually worth quite a bit of money. Full Art Fabled Passage. Okay, so that's going to be a nice one to have for sure. So I'm very happy to see that. And the last is Foil Lovestruck Beast. So this is seeing quite a bit of play and a night token. So not too bad. I'm actually very happy to see the Fabled Passage. Um, that's probably worth at least 20 bucks. My dog is not pleased. The full extended art is currently sold out at $30 on Star City. So that is definitely a sweet one. Uh, keep these foils aside just to double check. You never know with foil uncommons what tends to have value. I'm happy to see the love struck these. These fable passages will be an EDH staple. Any land, like deck that's playing a couple lands is a budget alternative. So back to the packs, fortifying provisions, Tomb Raider. Crystal Slipper, Bartered Cow. We'll just kind of go through these a little quicker. Reaper the Knight, 
baked into pie, the puppet, the snapper, the vandal, castle Ardane. So another castle makes one ones and no foil. No foil, no interested. So I'm gonna just grab out a bunch of these. I used to be a heavy pack cracker. This video is brought to you by my wallet, which has been taking a beating for magic for years. So just kind of going through, we got seen a lot of these uncommons already. Forever Young, The Tactician, Knight of the Keep, Falmire Knight, Mystical Dispute, Outlaw's Merriment as our mythic. So this is the one that makes tokens every turn. Uh, not the mythic we want to see. Don't think this is going to see much value. Set these aside. When I used to play competitive standard and used to go to the shop once to twice a week, I used to crack a box to two box every release. I miss cracking packs. So just kind of going through here. Reef Soul, Fling, Flutter Fox, The Cottage, The Wheel, Venerable Knight, not that bad in the, like an early aggro deck. Beanstalk Giant, this was actually one of the ones I want to try to get alternate art um, for the Golos deck I'm playing. Then we have Stone Coil Serpent, could see play. Uh, usually these X spells uh, do tend to go up in value if we look at the last few X ones. It's colorless, could go in any deck, and has protection basically from the Ravnica block. So someone might be able to break that. And then that is a foil forest, which is not where we want our foils to be. We want our foils to be of the Oko variety. So two Mythics so far. Uh, probably about half a box left, if not a little bit more. Let me get these out of the way. All right. So tiny. We got the Knight, Rose Thorn Acolyte, Reef Soul, Barrage, Corridor Monitor, Flutter Fox, Crashing Drawbridge, Ginger Brute, Sorcerer's Broom, Glass Casket's actually pretty solid as early removal. We got the Cat, Vantress Gargoyle. This could see play. It's a big body. It's an artifact as well, uh, if Mill ever becomes a thing and then turn into pumpkin foil. Uh, if mono blue comes back, it's not a bad card. You get a food token. We'll set aside our foil. Kind of want to see the black legendary, Ayara, more just for EDH I want to copy. Sorry, just trying to keep the mess to one spot. Embercraft Paladin, Shining Armor, get that into focus, Tomb Raider, Ogre Errant, Fell the Peasant, Lash of Thorns, Silver Flame Ritual, Steel Gaze Griffin, Signpost Scarecrow, Rally the Thorn, Animating Fairy, Sir Farin the Henge Hammer, uh, just some more of the uncommon, Oathsworn Knight, Fine, nothing too extravagant. Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, yes. Foil Robber of the Rich. Okay, I'll take Foil Mythics any day. So the Robber is, where are you? $20 Foil. We will take that for sure. That was nice makeup. That also doesn't count as a mythic slot, so we've really only hit two mythics otherwise in the normal spots. So hopefully this sees an Oko sometime soon. Prize Griffin, Lash of Thorns, Spore Cap Rider, Forbidden Fruit, Curious Pear, Unexplained Vision, Knight of the Keep, Ocarine Ranger, Heroic Banner. These might not be too bad in like um, Anthem decks for EDH. Slaying Fire, pretty good burn spell. 
Iron Craig Feet. So this is a way to ramp out. You can add seven mana, but you can only cast one more spell per turn. So normally I like ramp, especially in EDH, but for Maelstrom Wanderer it doesn't work because I want to cast spells off Cascade. And that's my main EDH deck right now. So let's see what else we got. So True Love's Kiss, The Merfolk, The Appetite, Skewer, Fling, Cauldron, Barrel Witches, Corridor Monitor, Garen Bridge Paladin, Dwarven Mire, we haven't actually seen that many, Overwhelmed Apprentice, Bognati, Burning Yard Trainer, Murderous Rider, nice, this is a really good card to get. Premier Removal in Standard, um, we'll see play pretty much its entire two years in the format. Uh, Vraska's Contempt got up to like 20 bucks, uh, so this can likely see at least a $10 price tag for its duration of Standard. So more of those would always be great. Alternate art of those would also be great. Oh, skipped one. Didn't say please. Garenbridge Squire, Malevent Noble, Steelgazer Griffin, Scorching Dragonfire. Not bad removal. It does do deal with exile. Claim of the Firstborn, Shine Chaser, Frog Frogify. Cauldron of Eternity. So this is probably going to become an EDH staple of some sort. Um, any type of reanimator deck is going to want to see this. So happy to see that one as our mythic. Much more than Merriment. So it's only 5 bucks right now, but I don't mind seeing stuff like that that would be ubiquitous with EDH in the future. Those are the cards that tend to go up in price. Um, random cards like the Merriment, unless they see heavy standard play, which I doubt, Likely won't go up too much. Shining Armor, Runaway Together, Rose Thorn Halberd, Tempting Witch, Weapon Rack, Trebuchet, The Egg, Beanstalk, Paladin, Lucky Clover, really good for the adventure decks, Frongify, Savvy Hunter, Wicked Wolf. So another good card to see play in uh, Simic and like various uh, green, blue X decks as a fight mechanic with Oko. So that's at least a couple bucks on its own. We're happy to see those. So Mantle of the Tides, Raging Red Cap, Lonesome Unicorn, Reaper and Knight, Toonville Tree Folk, Paladin, Cottage. Rider, Ritual, Searing Barrage, Suit, Arcanist Owl, Trail of Crumbs, Castle Vantress. So I'm happy to see these castles. If these are my rares, I'm always happy to see those. Pretty much going to go... There's next to no cost to playing them, unless you're just basically playing no basics. But even coming to play tapped, always having that added ability stapled onto land is always something useful. But I do want to see the Black Castle as well, at least one copy. So Blood Haze Wolverine, Fortifying Provisions, Moonlight Scavengers, Merchant of the Veil. So just kind of power through these. At this point we've seen a lot of them. Seeker Keeper, Wandermare, Flaxen Intruder, which is oven. Ooh, I love this card. It is such nice art. Um, so I'm very happy to see Lovestruck Beast alternate art. That is definitely the card we want to see if we are getting alternate arts. So it seems like they could come just in the normal slot. Not sure the drop rate necessarily on these. We've gotten quite a few. I don't know if it's like master, well, no, masterpiece was like one per case. So just kind of going through these guys. Rampant Smasher, Mysterious Pathlight, Sorcerer Spyglass, good utility card, 
Uh, it's dropped quite a bit with the reprint, but sees like play in the sideboard in modern as well. Reaper of Night alternate art foil. So not necessarily the alt art foil we want, but still a nice one. So this is the discard one. So we will take that. These are very nice cards. Not sure how rare these foils are. So it's something worth keeping an eye on. So we're making a good way. We're at three mythics for the box. No Oko. Makes me sad. Oko would take us over the top, I think. Elite Headhunter, Falmar Knight, Grumgully the Generous, Once Upon a Time. So that's a great card to get. A uh, really useful ability, especially pretty much any green creature deck will probably want to play some number of these. And a prize griffin foil. Got excited to see a foil, but not excited to see that it was prize griffin. Hope you're enjoying looking at my my nails and my fingers. It's a different avenue from what I'm used to being on stream. Used to my little box in the corner. So Forever Young, Out Muscle, Blow Down Your House, Baked Into Pie, Scarecrow, Once Upon a Future. This card is very thick. Lock Dragon, Doom Foretold. So this is seen play in the Dance of a Man's deck. So it might go up to a couple dollars as well. We got, let's clean this up, see how many packs we got left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten packs left. Ten chances that Oko. And we can go from there. So Fairy Godmother, Run Away Together, Return to Nature, Memory Theft, Searing Barrage. So Order Midnight, we haven't seen that yet. Wildborn Preserver, meh. I was trying a one to two in uh, Simic Flash, not crazy about it. It's a bad Rhineborn cutthroat in my opinion because you have to tap down. Rhineborn just gets bigger by playing out your game plan. So let's get that in focus. Come on. All right, we got the turtle, weasel, godmother, return to nature, giant skewer, gingerbread cabin, the servant, ferocity of the wilds, inspiring veteran, clank brag, bridge troll. So it's a big body. Uh, if you can play around like Hushbringer, turns off uh, create creature ability and a land. Mogwai played a cool list. You play Hushbringers, you get it in because then it just becomes an 8-8 haste trample. They don't get the tokens to sack down. It'll be interesting to see. Desecration Demon saw some play even with the downside just being over statted body. So we're going through these uncommons. Oop. Got the land. So, Sir Kara the Bold. Some more of the uncommon to the story. Brazen Borrower. That's a good mythic to get. Uh, seeing play in modern as well now and a couple tempo lists, so that is something we'd like to see. And Spore Cap Spider. Overall, quite pleased with this box right now. I would like to see some more uh, Guided Passage. We got the full art, but we'd like to see some other ones. Bartered Cow, Moonlight Scavengers. Such 
just kind of power in through here. Turn it to pumpkin, Arcan of Absolute, and Ember Cleave. Not really what I want to see. As in a mythic slot, there's much better cards to get. May go up in value in the future, you never know, but it's six bucks right now. So a quick creature has double strike and trample. Cost less per attacking creature. Maybe some fringe play. Mono red maybe sides into it. But even then their stuff's too small for trample. Sorry about that, doggo. Come on, get in focus. Well, this pack doesn't want to cooperate. Baked into pie, firstborn knight, arcanist owl, trail of crumbs, and giant killer. This will probably be good in cube, just these effects like the one mana tap creature, um, but with the upside of destroying stapled onto it, has some utility. If we ever get white weenies again, um, likely would see play upwards of a four of. Apparently on Star City, Circle of Loyalty, the Knight Artifact, is both $8 foil and unfoil. Not sure why, but that seems like an arbitrage opportunity, if that is what you want to play. So we got Flutter Fox, Absolute Rider, Sir Conrad the Grim, Fay of Wishes Alternate Art. That is a great card to get. I am happy to see that one. So these coming in the showcase kind of devalues the uh, the collector's boosters in my opinion. Like if those are the only ways to get it, but we've opened quite a few here anyways. So I am happy to see these. That Fae of Wishes is probably, let's see. Fae of Wishes. Alternate frame, five bucks right now. Hmm, would think it'd be a little bit more. That could see an increase though. So we got Syrian Barrage, Beloved Princess, another Shield Breaker. That is a very nice art on it. Dauntless, Red Cat Malie, and Fabled Passage, nice. We asked, we were rewarded. I got three packs left. Let's go Oko Oko Foil Oko. All right. This is a very like weird set art. Like I, I recognize the Royal Scion. Uh, not Will Kenrith, Rowan Kenrith, if that's the name on the pack, but there's just like a random dude. There's a dragon that's of no significance. Usually go with more of the face cards. Oop. Doggo wants to go out. We're almost done. Fa uh, folio of fancies. Kind of a group huggy effect. Another kind of bulk rare. Uh, Forever Young's foil could see some play. Seems like something that could potentially be part of a combo. We also got one of the lifelink tokens, Human Cleric uh, for the Merriment. So you hear my vicious beast in the background, Yawn of Terror, Fortifying Provisions. You can see your face like right uh, backwards there. <laughs> Whenever I stream, she thinks I'm talking to people. Drown in the lock. That was actually something we'd like to see foil. All that glitters. Escape into the wilds. Could see play. It's usually one of those exile. Win more cow uh, commander foil. Not the most exciting pack. Last pack. Part of the cards. All right, no, not good, not good. Show me Oko. S 
So uncommon. So next one is our rare. Oh yeah, okay, it's not bad. No foil? I wanted one of these anyways, so not the worst way to end it. Um, but overall, pretty solid box. Uh, considering we had the collector's booster, but just looking through really quick, some of the highlights. So, Fabled Passage, one sec, let me just pull the good ones. Let me pull the big cards. I guess Ember Cleave isn't really a big card. Uh, sorry, sorry. So we likely made our money back on the box, which is always good. Let me just not like absolutely destroy everything now. So we got our two Fable Passage, one Full Art. We got a couple Mythics in the Great Henge. We got the Foil, Robber of the Riches. We got Cauldron of Eternity. We got a bunch of playables in the form of Once Upon a Time, Gilded Gloose, Murderous Rider, Alt Art, Fae of Wishes. And then we got Foil and Alt Art, Lovestruck Beast, and then a Steelbane Hydra from EDH, which or from uh, the Brawl decks, which on its own, let me just check this one out, nothing but research, six bucks, one in stock, so this can see some, an increase too, uh, pretty good utility card, deals with a bunch of permanents on the battlefield, uh, so this is something I'll be keeping for EDH. Anyways, let me know what you think of this type of video, if this is something you'd like to see more on the channel. Um, you can get my face. Um, if you want to see more of it, we can. I'm just going to sink in my chair so I'm at your level. Um, if not, we'll just go back to our standard arena content and we can play from there. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, as always. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and follow on Twitch. Thanks for watching and have a great one.